Hey everybody, this is uh, Chris Lazo, pastor of Reality Santa Barbara. You might have discovered this video because you clicked through uh, a link on our website. We're reading through the New Testament together as a church, and this was meant to supplement those readings. Or maybe not. Maybe you were just clicking through the internet looking for additional resources for your devotional time in the Bible. Either way, if you want more out of your devotional time in the Scriptures, uh, beyond merely reading for information, I think this might be a great place for you to start. It's an historic Christian belief that the Bible is more than just a book, more than just literature. Although it includes that, it is also the divinely inspired word of the living God. It is alive and active, according to the author of Hebrews in chapter 4. That means it is interactive with our spirits and our souls. And we can get most uh, out of our devotional time in Scripture by interacting with it. And so I want to give you four simple ways to do just that, to interact with the Bible. First, you do want to start by reading it, but not reading as much as you possibly can. You don't want to just overstimulate uh, your mind and just kind of fill yourself with as much information and data as possible. You want to read so that you can slow down and be with Jesus. Uh, to do that, I like to uh, read uh, small portions of the Bible, sometimes a paragraph, or in our case as a church, we're reading a chapter a day. And that allows you to slow down as though you were in a conversation with God, and that's exactly what we want to do. We want to get swept into the story and listen to God uh, tell a story through the scriptures as though we were a fly on the wall. The second thing you want to do as you're reading through the Bible slowly is to look for a word or phrases or a story that might pop out and stand out as you're reading. Uh, it kind of illuminates itself or is illuminated as though it, it surfaces uh, to the top as you're reading. Uh, this is sometimes God's way of getting our attention while we're reading the Bible. And I like to write that down as I'm reading and then go back when I'm done reading and spend a minute or two reflecting on what God might be showing me personally in that moment. The third thing you want to do is to consider after you've done the reading and reflection, consider how God might be showing you from this passage uh, how it might apply to or challenge your life right now. Is there anything in the reading, anything that bubbled to the top uh, that is compelling you to change or uh, because of uh, something God might have been uh, revealing to you in the reading? And then fourth, after all that is said and done, talk to God, pray to Him. Uh, share with them what you learned from today's reading. At this point, you can also express any questions or doubts. Uh, you can also express excitement or hope too, the full range of human emotion. And by asking God, of course, to help you to walk in whatever it is that He taught you. Try these four steps out and see over time if the Lord does not meet you in that place of daily devotion. The Word, word of God is powerful. And if you want to move beyond reading for information and uh, reading for transformation, try these four steps and slow down and see the powerful move of God in your own life.